So, John, anything else you want to point out? Well, yes, yes. Uh, we were hoping to see you the week end after that paddle that you did on with Gucci when we were doing cleanup at Sugar Creek. So, um, this is uh, from a little document off the city's website, the 2010 Valdosta Storm Water Master Plan. Gotcha. And um, we may come back to this bit here about uh, manholes leaking along the stream. I'm sure you're all fixing all that, but uh, right now I want to talk about the trash along the stream. Trash load exceptionally high, used diapers, kitchen garbage, bedding, furniture, electrical wires, and scrap metals. We can attest to all of that. It doesn't mention lots and lots of styrofoam and cans and bottles. And coolers and mm -hmm. that's what I see now. It, it's, a, it's atrocious. Mm -hmm. it, it's absolutely atrocious. The walls is the main effort. We're a secondary effort, but people, I'm going to say this plainly, you're the first effort. It's your litter. It's your water bottles. It's your everything that's now getting um, washed to the streams or thrown in the streams. I, I don't get it. I don't get it when I drive it. I don't get it when I see a beer can at the bottom of a river and I'm paddling. I don't get the mindset of a person that says that that's a depository for their garbage. Well, um, he'll, he'll have, tell him I'll have him as a guest tomorrow. How about that? Um, but people go to theaterguildvalosta.com for the opening of the, the first play in a long time. So, yeah. Tell them thank you, but uh, if they want to come on tomorrow and, and plug, I'd be glad to have them. All right, sorry, John. Maybe we should do a play about this. But that, that's a <laughs> yeah, that we should. Right, so sure, people shouldn't litter, but, you know, what about all those companies making all that single-use trash? Why do we actually have to have so many styrofoam drink cups designed to be thrown away? And, and you know, there's at least six states that still have bottle deposits for cans and plastic bottles. If we had those in Georgia and Florida, we'd have a lot less of this stuff. I'm going to call water bottles a plague. Yes, they are. I'm going to call water bottles a plague. Who actually needs plastic bottled water? Which, by the way, Nestle, oh, I'm sorry, Blue Triton, they call themselves, sucks out of right next to uh, Madison Blue Spring. And the Swanee River Water Management District just gave them a permit to suck more out near the Santa Fe River. Why exactly should we, the people, it's all the same for the aquifer up here, whether you live in Georgia or Florida, why should we be subsidizing a Swiss company to make profit off of polluting our streams with plastic bottles? It, it all comes back full circle. If you, if you see it, it'll break your heart. If you get a deadfall and it all gathers, it'll really come to, uh, come to break your heart. When you see how much gets into our waterways, whether it washes off, whether it's thrown there. Um, well, here's a picture of this yeah. out, out of the same stormwater plan, so you can see this was well known. Uh, Tom said a couple of tires for good measure. Right. Uh, this particular picture is on Sugar Creek near West Magnolia Street. We haven't even looked there yet. We need to go there next. There wasn't a single deadfall on the week that I took. Remember our trip, there was five, and we actually mm -hmm. had to cut our way through, and every one of the deadfalls had garbage gathered at it. Mm -hmm. There was not a single one on the trip that Thomas and I took. That's because A, the water was so high you floated over them. Probably. And B, when it gets that high, all that washes downstream into the Swanee all the way to the Gulf. So yet another way that Valdosta is sending stuff to Florida. You brought it up. I did bring it up. Okay, and uh, the idea of doing something about it as a trash collection device referred to the side for Bay Tree Road Culver for a proposed design for trash collection device near Sugar Creek. Like a, like a screen or like... I think you've explained this to me before, too. Well, Valdosta actually has one. It's over above Lake Sherry. And it's like the Cadillac model that's built out of concrete with steel intake pipes. And that thing costs at least a quarter million dollars. We don't need quite that much. No, you can get much less expensive ones that are quite effective these days that you just plop into the creek. It's basically, it, what it looks like is basically chicken wire in a cage. And then it's got two arms, which um, are usually aluminum these days, that uh, angle out in front of it. So the trash gets funneled in there, and then you don't need a truck to clean it out. Volunteers can just go shovel it out.